everybody, it's Pat Jones, and I'm here with another Turf Zoom from the nice folks at the Aquatrolls Company. Speaking of the Aquatrolls Company, we're here today with Eric Gafkin, the general manager of the Aquatrolls Company. How the heck are you, Eric? Hey, Pat. Great to see you again. I'm doing very well, thank you. Beautiful fall day up here in the Northeast, so taking oh, it. Man. What yeah. kind of a wild ride has this been for you here uh, uh, in the last uh, year plus? that the, the companies have been coming together. How, how much fun has it been? It's wild is a good way of putting it, Pat, right? We've been, uh, you know, it's been, it's been a lot of fun. It's been a great um, experience to witness, A, the merging of two iconic companies in right. the marketplace and the merging of two teams that were once competitors right. into, you know, one group with a single focus of doing great things in the marketplace. So, um, you know, from a personnel point of view, it's been awesome, but also, you know, overcoming challenges along the ways, because we didn't just merge personnel, merging, you know, operations, merging, you know, our, our um, computer systems, everything along those lines that people don't think about that add challenges that really help everybody pull together. And it has a galvanizing effect, um, you know, for, for the team in general, it's been, it's been pretty remarkable. I am, I am really lucky to be surrounded by the cast of characters that we have, without a doubt. Well, take a step back and tell everybody. So people ask, it's like, who bought who here and how did this happen? But right. really, it, it was two companies that have the same owner, uh, the, the, the company that had already purchased uh, Precision Labs, right. and had purchased Aquatrols, and, and you've been in the process of joining those two together. Tell us about that. Yeah, I, I guess the best way to sum that up, Pat, thank you for, for kind of framing that the way you did, is we've got two family companies, 50 plus year old family companies, um, basically purchased by one 100 plus year old family <laughs> company, right? So we had the Aquatrols Company of America um, and Precision Laboratories, which existed at one time, competitors in the marketplace. Um, about 2018, um, we went from a joint venture with Lamberti SPA, our current um, owners right now, into Lamberti owning the majority share of Precision Laboratories. And then, as, as everybody's pretty well documented in the industry, Lamberti purchased Aquatrols from the Rural American Fund and um, made the decision to sit there and say, okay, we're going to take precision laboratories and break off the agricultural division into a standalone division and then merge the Aquatrols company with precision laboratories turf as one unit facing the the turf grass industry and that's what makes us the Aquatrols company right now so we have former precision labs turf grass we have the former Aquatrols corporation of america and Aquatrols europe all under one umbrella right now as the I want to come back and talk about that because Aquatrols is a truly global company. And I don't think a, a lot of people understand it. So, so this, this, this combination of the two companies, what does it mean to the average golf course superintendent out there? You know, it, obviously it's, it's a bigger portfolio. Some things have gotten combined, but what's the opportunity that it presents for the turf professionals out there who use your products? Yeah. Great, great question, Pat. What, what it means first of all is, um, everybody can kind of relax. That's the first and foremost, right? Not many things are going away out of this, right? So the, the products that are tried, you know, true, tried, tested, you know, your, your revolution isn't going anywhere and your cascade tray isn't going anywhere, right? So um, steady hand on the tiller. That's the first message. But the second message is, is you know, a combined sales force, um, R&D, marketing, and um, particular, the fact that we are now um, wholly owned by a basic manufacturer of surfactant chemistries, we've got a pipeline coming on, right? So um, we are now, you know, in control of the chemistries we make from the molecular level on. Wow. So it's uh, exciting times for the future, but we haven't forgotten where we come from in the past either. Yeah. So, yeah, and that, that's really the interesting thing now is to look at this portfolio that's come together and to look at the options that are presented for, for golf course superintendents from zipline to revolution to uh, tray 
to you know some of the the, the basics like Vivax. Um, Absolutely, uh, Aquatools had never had tablets before, and now that there's there's that out there for everybody. So it, it seems to me that pretty much any kind of water management tool you need uh, is is likely to be part of this portfolio now. What are you most excited about when you look at the at the joining of the product categories? What I'm most excited about is once again the people, right? We, we've you know combining. <laughs> Combining two companies that were once, you know, two major competitors in the space, A, it's pretty remarkable to behold how quickly we all came together mm -hmm. as a team because it was competition, let's face it, right? It was there, but it was always respectful competition. Um, and so when we brought the two teams together um, to see how quickly everybody was willing to work together and learn from one another about each other's respective chemistries and our go-to-market strategies so we can be unified in our approach to the marketplace. Because listen, we have the same vision here, right? right. It's to play a role in the success of today's golf course superintendents, sports staff managers, right? It, it really is, you know, when you have that common goal, when you get your why um, in approaching the industry, it, everything seems to really fall into place. And, you know, universally, again, globally, that is our focus. And um, anytime you hit a little bit of adversity, you tend to go back to that and everything seems to work out for the better. It sure does. Um, you, okay, you mentioned globally. Uh, I honestly think that Aquatrols uh, has, has been one of the leaders globally and one of the very few companies that operates largely the same way with the same product base in, in Europe and, and, and elsewhere around the world as it does in okay. the United States. How mm -hmm. much fun has that been for you to work with that team over there and, and see how uh, effective they are? Because they're, they're rock stars over in, in, in the UK. 100%. Graham and, and the Aquatrols Europe team are um, rock stars is a great way to put it, right? The, the British invasion, so to speak. <laughs> <laughs> no, but they're, they're fantastic group of folks. And, you know, the appreciation of, you know, this, that is the birthplace of turf grass management, Pat, right? So, and their embracing of the history of it and the evolution of turf grass management, we're all still learning from them. And it was great for us to go over, spend some time at the Open this year with them. Um, the fact that, that they attended the first meeting of the two companies at GIS in 2024, I think they brought a, a stabilizing. And really, they, they I guess, to, to keep it in the parlance of our times here, right? They were a great tank mix partner when we merged everything <laughs> together. And, uh, you know, I can't tell you how much we enjoy um, their presence and everything that they bring to the table to these two, you know, and being a part of these two combined companies. It, really, it, remarkable It's so remarkable when you talk to greenkeepers over there, of course, managers, that, that they don't have the budgets that we do oftentimes in, in the staffing but they will find a way to buy products like Revolution and Zipline and Dispatch because they know they need them and, and they know how important they are going to be to their success because they don't have a lot of other tools sometimes. So it, it's, it's a, they, you were held in high esteem over there and that's kind of fun. Absolutely. And you know, the, the funny part about what you had just said with the limited amount of inputs, either through regulatory or, or you know, budgets, um, right. still the overreaching theme is the importance of water. Right. And the impact that water has on, you know, turf grass maintenance. Um, it is the single source that can be either your biggest provider of excellent conditions, playable conditions, or your biggest limiting factor. And I think Thanks. their approach towards water management, um, that holistic approach is something we can all learn something from in the marketplace. I, I, I always urge superintendents to do some more research on this category because they think wedding agents and, and there's way more to it than that so you, you you're 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 trying to you're trying to influence the soil and its ability to move this moisture around you're trying to get water onto the leaf blade which is, is critical but you're also trying to do some things to keep water or, or keep products where they're supposed to be uh you know take mix partners that, that, that are going to keep things from drifting so right. so you've got all these different aspects of working with water but it all comes back to sustainability and conservation. 100% Pat, right? So, you know, well summarized, right? We, we look at water as, as truly holistic, right? At the source, through the air, in the tank, on the target, in the soil. Um, and we can influence water, its behavior and its performance and its conservation at all levels. 
Um, right. So truly in the marketplace, we want to be folks, waters partners. And um, we have the capabilities. We have the research and development. We have, you know, Aura Farm is something that, that we haven't touched on yet where we can have, you know, our innovative products or even our current products and new combinations of products tested before we bring them to the marketplace on our own property, right? To talk about efficacy and the things that you were just, uh, you know, basically highlighting. Yeah, it's, it's amazing. And I, I hope people that, that listen to this get a chance eventually to go see our farms because it, it's, a, it, it's a test site like no other because it was purpose built. And it, there are some other very big companies that have their own sort of golf hole they do stuff on. This is a really special place where you're, you're actually trialing products on your own to figure out what you want to do before they ever go to the university level or sometimes to learn more about them. How cool is it to be able to go over there and take a look and see prog uh, see progress happening with products? It's a remarkable property. And, and quick shout out to Dr. Matt Fleetwood, who's running the show over there, running all of our trials, um, testing new innovations and things like that. And, and, you know, you're right. We encourage anybody that wants to come out, give us a call, take a tour um, and see what we're all about out there. It's a yeah. remarkable property. And again, it, it, I think it highlights our commitment to the industry to sit there and say, hey, we're, uh, we're doing real world stuff here prior to taking it to the marketplace, prior to going to universities. And, you know, the other part about it is we do have a proof program where, you know, prior to launch, we, we've had a lot of superintendent cooperators um, that we work with trialing product in real world situations on their golf courses prior to launching into the marketplace. And we're committing um personnel and finances to further enhance our uh our proof program as well it's the future looks good so important to have real world testing you know yes universities are important yes that basic research that you do at aura is important but putting it into the hands of superintendents and really having them put it through the paces is important and you know that because it was just 15 years ago you right. were of course superintendent and, and this is it, it's funny. We were talking earlier. There just aren't that many superintendents that have uh, gone uh, up a couple of levels like you have and, and are running one of the industry's best respected companies now. Did could you ever imagine that that, that day that you said, "Okay, I, I'm I'm I've been a superintendent for a long time. I'm going to go go into the corporate world, and uh, I hope it works out for me." And I think it has. So could, what would, could you, what, what's it like to look back and think just 15 years have passed since you were growing grass? Right. It was, uh, I, I probably killed more than I grew fat. <laughs> but um, yeah, it's, it's been a, it's been a wild ride. It's been a lot of fun. And I guess the first shout out I, I would give would be to, um, you know, Rick Wallner at, at formerly at Precision Laboratories for giving me a crack. Um <laughs> back then for, for jumping over onto the uh, manufacturing side of the business and, and representing the company. But I guess, you know, product belief is paramount. First of all, I was, I was an early adopter of soil surfactant chemistries when I was a superintendent. Um, probably the proudest thing I'll talk about being a golf course superintendent is the number of people that went on to become golf course superintendents and do it way better than I ever did. Um, which is great to see, but also to the, the progression was, you know, through precision laboratories, um, learning about the products that I was using, understanding that, man, if I knew then what I know now, um, I would have been so much better at what I did. And that I think is what's driving us as a company right now is sharing and imparting that knowledge. I talked about Dr. Fleetwood and, and how highly qualified, um, our sales teams are in Europe and in, in the United States and internationally about sending that message to talk about, you know, the proactive use of our products, understanding water quality and how water quality can impact all of the other inputs that we're putting into it. So, um, you know, I guess I'm talking less about my progression, but more about what I wish I knew then. Yeah, I would have been better then. And, and that's kind of our, our compass moving forward with this company. Um, I, I'm indebted to too many people to talk to that have taught me lessons along the way um, and, and, you know, helped me out to get to where I am. And, you know, if we can, if we can just continue to give back to the industry that's given a whole lot to me, then, 
then we're again living our why it's it's really kind of cool to be a part of this is a special industry we're in and um we're all passionate about making it better or playing some type of a role in everybody's success well i i think i think what's cool to me is it's a turf head driven company <laughs> and, 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 and charged yeah yeah so th that's the thought and it's not it's not well we don't understand what superintendents think like because we, you know, we need to do research on them. You guys don't. <laughs> you've all you've all lived that life and, and been there, so it, it's pretty remarkable. So, so sitting here now, here mm -hmm. you are, and, and kind of really beginning this adventure in earnest and sure. getting ready for all the trade shows in the fall in early order, which now includes all the precision products and and it, you know, it's one program that you can use. Absolutely. What, what do you want people to, to know about the new company? What do you want people to know about the Aquatrols company and what it's going to represent in this market for hopefully years to come? That's a great question. Um, I would say that, that what I would like everybody that, that is, you know, taking the time to view our conversation here, Pat, is, is we, we are a team of folks um, that are 100% aligned and are and are striving to play a role in the success of turf grass managers right and we do that by um partnerships with highly valued distributors in the marketplace mm -hmm. and um we haven't forgot where we came from either right we're not trying to you know elicit change just for the sake of change we respect our history where we came from and the values that have come with that, but we also have a, an eye towards innovation. And when we do innovate, it's going to be sensibly and effectively. That's the way to look at it, you know, and and and, and, and practically, you know, with a, with a practical eye towards what needs to be done to to help golf continue to be golf, because the number one issue facing the industry is water and and how uh, we how we use it wisely and what message we send to the rest of the world with how we use it. And, and that's, that's something that these products are uniquely capable of fixing. Absolutely, Pat, right? Mother Nature's not making any new water, right? Mm -hmm. So the responsible use of water is, is crucial, it's paramount. Um, and also harnessing the power of water to, to empower water to better perform for turf grass managers. Yeah, I think if we do that, we're, we're doing some good things out there. Cool, good deal. Thank you so much for your time and, and congratulations on sitting in this chair that you're sitting in now and having a chance to really make a difference for the industry. Uh, way to go. I appreciate it, Pat. And it's great, you know, getting back together and chatting with a guy that I'm not going to admit how many years you and I have known each other. It's been a while. Yeah. <laughs> it's been a fun ride and looking forward to the future as well. Really Me appreciate too. you taking the time for, for this conversation. Me too. Always happy to talk. And thank, thank you for sponsoring. Uh, thank you for sponsoring Turf Zoom. I don't know how many we've done at this point, but we really had a great time. And, and coming soon, you're going to see a lot more Turf Zooms from other members of the Aquatrols uh, company team. So uh, uh, hopefully you'll get to learn a little bit more about your local reps and people like Matt Fleetwood and Wes Ham, who are important parts of the company as well. So stay tuned because there's going to be a lot more of these coming. Thanks again. Thanks, Pat. Cheers.